setting and in my case I'm going to set that to INET pub www root which is the standard IIS root folder. Now once we've done that we can save the any file and then if we just bring up a command prompt by typing CMD and we need to navigate to that folder so we can go into that PHP folder and then if we just type PHP minus info and we have a successful installation then we should see all the configuration uh, information for PHP and that looks pretty good it looks as though we've got a successful installation so we're at the point where we have enabled the web, ser web server role, we've enabled the fast CGI service, we've installed our update, and we've also now installed and configured PHP on the server. The next thing we need to do is to configure IIS to handle PHP requests. And there are two ways we can do this. We can do this uh, from the command line, or we can do it through the UI. I'll opt to do it through the UI, but that reference at the end will also give you instructions for how to do it through the command line if that's your preference. So to do the configuration through the UI, just bring up IIS Manager. So if you type IIS in the uh, search box there, up should pop the um, Internet Information Services Manager. and select our server and then we want to bring up handler mapping so you can see the handler mappings icon there double click on that we need to add a module mapping and in here the request path should be not surprisingly star.php the module we require to service that is the fast cgi module the executable will be the path to our PHP install, which in our case, my case, is uh, C going backslash PHP, and then phpcgi.exe. If I can find it. So that's path to our PHP installation slash phpcgi.exe and we'll give that a name which we'll call PHP via fast CGI. Click on OK. We'll get a confirmation dialog box. We need to click yes on there. And be a good idea now just to check that that um, handler mapping is working correctly so let's go ahead and do that so we'll create a simple PHP page that we can then just use to check whether our install is working correctly or not and then save that away and I want to save it in C INET pub www root, which is the IIS default uh, root folder. And we're going to save it as, um, let's call it uh, PHP. Oops. PHP info.php and um, uh, notepad has a tendency to stick a dot text extension on the end if you leave it as a text document so if you select all files that will prevent that um, happening and then just save that file into our root folder and then if we bring up ie and we just browse to localhost slash uh, what do we call it php info dot php 
and see whether or not that um, works. And there we see the standard PHP information page and it looks as though we've got things set up and configured correctly. So there's one final thing we need to do to finalize our configuration and that is to configure the recycling behavior of PHP and fast CGI. Essentially we want the fast CGI recycling behavior to always win out against the standard PHP recycling behavior and in order to do that we need to um, set a couple of configuration properties to ensure that the fast CGI behavior always kicks in before the standard PHP behavior. Now they're slightly long-winded. I'm going to just cut and paste these in. And if I bring up my um, command prompt again, and with any luck I can paste that command in there. Again, in the document that I'll reference, you'll see exactly what the um, syntax of this command is is and we'll go ahead run that and then we need to just run one final command and all we're doing there is setting the two properties that control the fast cgi and the standard php behavior to ensure that that fast cgi uh, recycling behavior always wins out and kicks in first and that's us. We are done. We've got the web role enabled on our server with fast CGI role service enabled. We have installed the update for fast CGI uh, support. We have then downloaded the binaries for PHP, installed and configured PHP. We set up IIS 7 to handle PHP requests and send them to our fast CGI uh, module. And then finally, we just configured that recycling behavior. There is one other um, tool that you might find um, useful. And actually, the second document that I uh, will provide a, a, a reference for mentions this um, tool. It's currently in a CTP form, so I haven't included it in this uh, video. It's called the Administration Pack for IIS 7, and it has some um, specific UI for dealing with fast CGI settings, so it might be of interest to you, but I'd point you to that second document um, for, uh, for reference there. So just coming back to my two slides here. The walkthrough that I have just done essentially comes from this um, TechNet link here, um, a document on the TechNet library, and that document is entitled IIS 7 Configuring Fast CGI to Host PHP Applications. And there is a very similar uh, walkthrough on the IIS website, IIS.net, which is called Using Fast CGI to Host PHP Applications on IIS 7. And the link to that document is there. And those two give you all you need to know um, to install and configure PHP on IIS 7.